I try to pull the emotional plug because you get overwhelmed really quickly. Uh, I have a lot of empathy and and um, I, I don't think I have the right personality for doing what Hassam or what the nurses are. I would overload at some point. All the emotional charge of it, you register but you process much later when you go home. Or when you're caught by surprise, just like when that kid was brought to us in the base camp. I got a call from another Red Cross team that they have found this child, I think six months, stabilized the case that's critical, and are sending him here. We were doing our thing of, you know, managing the whole operation when a, a pickup came in and uh, a woman screamed at Steve, our, our relief, uh, our head of relief, and she says, help my baby, we need help. So Steve came to me, says, JP, we've got, we've got a dying baby in, in the pickup. We just stopped this whole massive operation just to focus on one boy. The mother was there, so I, we really were hit hard by her wave of emotional distress, and, and that kid, you know, just a little, tiny little thing, and all bad, that bent out of shape. It's this massive contrast, you know, between running this huge operation where we have 200 people on the ground now, and then you have this little baby, but you, you cannot not give it all you have to, to just to do everything you can to save that life.